Good morning, guys. Did you get woken up by that 4.1 earthquake there in the geysers by Cobb Mountain early this morning? There was a magnitude 4.1 earthquake there just before midnight at 11.54 local time p.m. 119 people so far have taken the time to report this earthquake. It looks like they're injecting too much water into the geysers to boost the steam production of the geothermal plants there. One side of the fault evidently rose up. We got tension. Uh, the, most of the tension is towards the east, but we got tension coming from both the east and west pressing on this fault zone, and it popped up. First wave of the earthquake was basically straight up, but sort of from the south. There's been quite a few moderate size earthquakes in this location. Uh, we got a 3.5 that was last year. We also have another 3.5 that USGS downgraded to a 3.3 that was in February of this year. And then last year there was a magnitude 3.2. In just the last week alone, there's been over 242 earthquakes here in this location. Here we got Cobb Mountain, we got Pine Grove. This here is Geyser Road. And to the north, we got Clear Lake, California. In the last 24 hours, there has been 53 earthquakes in this location. Just the last 24 hours. Here are the felt reports. It was also reportedly felt in Fort Bragg. That report is not on here but USGS does not post all the reports. We have reports up over here by Chico. We have reports at Lake Tahoe, Sacramento, uh, San Francisco, and Los Banos. Over here is Santa Cruz. Here on the main page, USGS gives it an intensity level of six. Now, intensity level six is saying here that it's felt by many and they run outdoors. Frightens a lot of people. Heavy furniture move. In a few instances, fallen plaster or damage to chimneys. Uh, damage slight. Yeah, I'm sure they're checking out all the buildings there, all the geothermal plants, all the pipes. On this page, it's showing the intensity level of six for Windsor, California. So that would be about 18 miles. Calistoga had an intensity level of 2. Uh, Kelseyville, intensity level of 4. Cloverdale, intensity level 3. Middletown, intensity level of 3. Hillsburg, 2. Hidden Valley, 3. Uh, Lakeport, 1. And Santa Rosa, 1. Yep, got to keep the power going to the Bay Area and other parts of the United States. So did you feel this earthquake? If so, please put your comments down below. Thank you, you guys, for watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.